Do you understand how fucked up this is? Izuru is crying. Izuru. I'm currently dead see you all and hell my hope is dead. Me before watching Danganronpa 3 to everyone, OMG you should totally play Danganronpa. Me right now Danganronpa 3 warning, Don please I beg you. We've lost another best girl. Literally me I am crying right now don't even say her name, I'm in the state of despair. Nanami is dead and so am I. I think that brainwashing video is legit, because now I want to kill everyone after what I saw. Reblog if you agree that Kiyaki Nanami didn't deserve that. Kodaka is a dick and Junko deserved to suffer tbh. Me after despair arc episode 10. The most powerful, most tragic, most despair inducing anime in mankind history. When you thought that this anime can get more gruel. Slams fist on table. Kiyaki deserved better god damn it. I don't want to die. When I heard Nanami saying that. I started crying tbh. How the fuck did Kiaki Nanami live long enough to have a touching scene with Izuru? Things Kiaki Nanami deserved. Not fucking this. Important Danganronpa lesson, if there's an AI version of someone, then they're dead. Danganronpa, more like everyone I love is dying. There's no place for best girls in Danganronpa, and this confirms it. I knew they will kill Kiyaki but this was too fucking much. I am shaking, and crying, and feel like I want to throw up. If Kodaka thought Kiyaki's death would bring me despair, then he was right. No. That's it. I've had it with this show. Fuck this shit. WTF. Why did they kill Kiyaki so brutally? That doesn't make sense. Everyone loves her. At underscore at I'm really pissed off. Nanami did not deserve that. Hearing Nico B cry reacting to Kiyaki's death is making me cry all over again. Underscore. That's the longest 10 minutes of my life watching Kiyaki die. I'm going to kill myself tbh. I hate myself tbh. Kiyaki was my hope tbh.